This is an old, 4.5 volts, zinc carbon battery. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. We will measure the voltage of the battery and see that it is indeed a dead battery. We put the multimeter in DC voltage measurement mode, that is, we will use it as a voltmeter. We select a measurement scale of 20 volts. The positive of the voltmeter, red wire, goes to the positive of the battery, and the negative of the voltmeter, black wire, goes to the negative of the battery. We see that the value we are measuring is 0.42 volts. This proves that the battery is bad. We then measure a new battery. The negative terminal is larger than the positive terminal so we can easily tell them apart. The voltage we are now measuring is 4.73 volts. This value is normal for a 4.5 volts battery. Now we will open the old battery to show that a 4.5 volts battery consists of three 1.5 volts cells. First we remove the paper and then we remove the cap. Now we can see that indeed the battery consists of three cells. The three cells are connected in series. The top of the first cell is connected to the bottom of the second cell. The top of the second cell is connected to the bottom of the third cell. This battery is very old, in bad condition and needs to be recycled. The electrons inside the battery follow the path shown by the arrows in the picture. From the positive of cell 1 to the negative of cell 3. In a simple circuit consisting of the 4.5 volts battery, a switch, and an incandescent lamp, the current follows the path of the red arrow. This path is opposite to the path of the electrons inside the battery. To show that the battery consists of three cells connected in series we have placed three 1.5 volts batteries one after the other. Normally we don't use this representation when we have sources with many cells, but the one shown in the picture. I would like to thank you for watching this video.